good for us in your life. Hello viewers, you're welcome to New Testament Voice, a telecast brought to you by New Testament Christian Mission International. In this series, you will be blessed through real life transforming testimonies of couples featured in our Family Life Forum held on Wednesday 2nd to Saturday 5th May 2018 at New Testament Christian Mission International Headquarters Worship Center in Loring titled Overcoming Challenges in Marriage. Through this series, you will see how God made it possible for the couples to overcome contemporary challenges crushing homes. We strongly believe that these testimonies will build your trust in Jesus Christ for greater testimonies. Happy viewing and God bless you. Amen. It's wonderful. She cannot explain it all. In fact, yesterday she said, Abi, I will help her to share it. Because, you know, because she's older, she has forgotten some things, you know. But we were in it together. Right from when she was in Lagos before she came down to join us here, we just visited and she said, hmm, I'm having. A problem. I say, what? She was just passing blood. AJ. And she's been like that for how many months? She passed blood for so many months. Every treatment failed. So I said, Auntie, don't worry. Jesus has taken it away. You will not pass again. We will just pray for her. Because we have nothing but the faith in Calvary, what Jesus did on the cross. And we believe so much in it. And that helped her. Anytime she has an affliction, she will come to us and say, to, I'm here. So, and once we pray, you know, the Lord will help us. Uh, so, uh, she has more. She wants to say more. Please go ahead, ma. Then came when I overcame that, came this challenge about my heart. I just discovered that I told anything challenge I used to discuss. I said, Mommy, it seems as if my heart is skipping. My heart is skipping. I can feel it. Then, sometimes I will have a bit of cessation. I feel it. I know. So I'm a medical person. Then there was a time I was feeling one funny thing. I went and consulted one of our doctors and he said I should, I should go for ECG, electrocardiography. So he said, mm, there is cardiac ischemia. That is not blood. It's not getting there any longer. Mm -hmm. So anytime I have problems, I will call mommy. Where go? Well, I'm coming this weekend though. So and I will come, I will, my daddy, daddy will say auntie, you are healed in Jesus. I say, I'm healed being <laughs> weak. He said, Daddy will say, just look unto Christ. Jesus, you will not die. You say to heart. I said, we have just overcome the intestine. The heart has come over by again. Which one day again? So I they said you know it's their cells coming or something. I, that was 2011. Yeah. Okay, so when I was not satisfied with their treatment there, and I have not really tapped into the word of God, I have not really, my faith was just waving like this. I told, I didn't tell her, I consulted a uh, cardiologist, and I went and registered in a private cardiology uh, something, I was paying. So one day when I first, I said, ah, I better go and be like, say, these people know, no, sir, I'll be waiting to do me. So I went back and I went to them. I said, Daddy, the heart don't get problem again. No. So she said, What is it? I said, It was keeping, it has apnea, it has ischemia. So they said I should do, go and do echo. I tried to do it in general hospital. Uh, what is it? UITH. They were dilly dally. I just took my something. I went to Obomosho. 
through the influence of uh, uh, Femi or Wale Popola, they gave me the name of one of their colleagues that is working there. So I took some money along with me, I went and did it, and they said, they, they are serving me, or something like that. Uh -huh. I know where the battle is now, so no to face it. So I just said, look, the battle is over. On the cross of Calvary, you, you died of a wounded heart, that my heart will not be wounded. Amen. You were pierced on the side. Blood and water came out. Your intestine was punctured. My own intestine cannot be punctured any longer. Amen. It has been done on Calvary. Amen. So this cannot happen. My heart cannot fail. But I cannot suffer from any heart failure. So, like that, I, they were praying along with me. Anytime, I would just come and say, Mommy, hey, today, palpitation, say, Mom, don't worry. You are healed in Jesus' name. It's just, you had a, that's the way she put the prayer, you had a last one, go sing, come, come, you had a, me, so much you, eh? You had a last one, eh, for come back What type of stuff? So, but later, I, I was working with them and tapping into their teachings. My faith was elated. So anytime I skip or something, I say, you, over my dead you cannot kill me, I cannot die. Because Jesus has told me that with long life, has he satisfied me and he has shown me his salvation. And after the flood, what you said in your word is that the days of man on earth are 120 years. Mm -hmm. So I cannot die now because Amen. I'm not yet 120. Amen. In fact, there was a day I told her, <laughs> Boni, Yai, what it is, she do to she come on, okay, me not lie, you Come on for jury B. Because I cannot just know what my problem was. Mm. But now, for the last a year, this may make it a year, mm. I visited the, uh, the uh, cardiologist last and he said oh, there was nothing wrong with my heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. See, Praise the Lord. Uh, it's wonderful. <laughs> I have a Lord. The Lord has been so ben, good. Ben. Has been so faithful to me. Ben. I that is, I don't know. I just thank God. You know, we have asthma. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> so asthma. I have been carrying this asthma for a very it's hereditary something. So we have been, I've been, but you know, as a medical person, I have my uh, Ventolin and something, Flanol, uh, whatever, Sabutamol, whatever. I was taking, but at a stage when I started growing in this church, one year ago now, she be, the Bible says, with God all things are possible. Yes. And the Bible said that all those people that they brought to Jesus we are healed. Mm. There was one that was not healed. And there was a day that was uh, giving us a sermon. They said that even that there are so many things, the other diseases that he did not kill, that he cured, that they were not They're recorded not in this book. Mm. So I said now, if it is true then that you can cure all diseases and you, with your stripes I am healed. This has my enough is enough. Oh. I went on night duty. I could not walk. When this asthma started, I could not breathe. They have to put me on the bed. Mm. No. So, one admit in us, it will not be shared. I, I couldn't run the night shift when I was a bedside nurse. So I said, What? So I just told God, Look, uh, they say generational causes. That is Adamic nature. It is no longer my nature. Mm. That is what Satan bought you know, for the human race. But I always tell God that. Now I'm not an Egyptian. Mm -hmm. I'm an Israelite. Mm -hmm. I've been grafted to the root of Adam. Hallelujah. Abraham. The blood of Jesus mm -hmm. has grafted me into the seed of Abraham. Yes. And you have told us that in Abraham there is no disease, no sickness. Yes. So I belong to Abraham. I don't belong to Jesus. So you cannot torment me any longer. How can I continue suffering asthma, asthma? Mm -hmm. wait, wait, wait. There was the time that I, I, I went to the class to lecture. Hmm. Before I finished the lecture, it was a talk of war. Wow. I just hurried everything over. 
so that I can go to the hospital. Mm. And when I go there, I cannot even talk again. My voice is gone. Wow. So they have to uh, admit me. Please. Admit me in the hospital. I called mommy. I said, "Whoa, well, admission." Mm. So, so what is that now? So, but I thank God that since that day, mm. to the glory of God, till today, Has I have been. not experienced any other hassle. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Man that is born of woman is of few days and full of troubles. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God liberates him out of them all. This will be your own story also in Jesus' name. I'm sorry. I have just, the Lord has just been merciful to me. Mm. I took a risk some years back. When mommy continuously challenged my faith, and my husband, he said, you call yourself a Christian. You normally deliver by Zedan section, Zedan section. Because I had two Zedan sections. And I know as a midwife, and a, and a senior uh, lecturer in the school of New I know what two previous cars mean, and what eclampsia is. I don't know how to say that for me. Yeah. So, the first one was due to eclampsia. I fitted. Maybe, maybe I should put in that language. Okay. Though that's why they section me. The devil is a liar. Yes. Mm. He knows how to catch you and to weigh you down. Mm. That's what happened. The second one, I went to a clinic on Friday. They said the baby was presenting a that is coming with the head. Yes. But Sunday, labor started. When I, they say the exam, they say it's bridge. Ah. Then, um, I don't check it. How can it be bridge? They said, I said no. So they said they should come and do an x ray. They did the x ray, it's bridge. Mm. And they say bridge, previous uh, scars, says a uh, Zeran section. So later I said, okay. When I had the, the other one, I now told God, look. No more Zedan section. I'm a midwife. I know the implication, but you are able to do it, and I know you will do it. I shared with mommy, and that they were praying along with me. So when I go to the clinic, I don't allow them because you know they will write CS, CS in red at the back or something. I will talk, say I'm a tutor. So I will turn my folder upside down, and I will go and meet uh, one of the doctors. Doctor, uh, it's a Christian too. I say, write my drug for me. And I even told God that even the amatonics, you have to do it in a supernatural way. If the amatonics, I will not take. So when they give me amatonics, I, I take it to my uh, grandmother-in-law. She likes taking drugs. So I took that one now. And then when, the, <laughs> at 36 weeks, I don't know what led the doctor to go and open my folder. <laughs> what you were hiding? What I was hiding. And he sent for me. That time there was intercom in our, between the hospital and the school. That they should, he said they want to speak to Mrs. Owolola. I said yes, anything. He, he mentioned his name, the, the, the doctor. That, ah, sister. So you have two previous, yes. I said yes. He said, you, are support, you should come on admission now. I said I'm not coming. So I went to him, he's a Christian. I explained everything, I said, I'm trusting God for a safe delivery. Ah. She said, well, you should have told me this earlier. I would have been praying along with you. And it's not too late. So, I fell in labor. My mother was around. I, she said, I've never labored before. I said, I wanted to go to the toilet. I went to the toilet, I wanted to stay too long. My mom said, Mom, you must see you so I came out. We went to the hospital. The devil is a liar. Yes. When I got to the hospital, my blood pressure was 220 over whatever it is. Wow. And protein plus plus. Wow. Pre eclampsia. And you have been attending clinic before. Modular, uh, no I protein, mean, no BP. Then the doctor said, Well, Slayer section. I said no. She's correcting me. You know, I'm, it's a long time I did meet with you last. So I said I will not do it. He said then I have to sign. If anything happens, 
that I am the co- I said yes and I signed. Oh. I signed. It's a junior doctor, so he sent for the senior one. So when you know I told that one before, oh. and it's a Christian. So when he came, he said, Ah, sister, you are I said yes. And already I'm six PM. So six minus uh, ten, ten is four. Oh. I have only four CM to go. Oh. He said, but the BP is high. I said he said, let me give you something to bring down your blood pressure. Okay. I think this is only protein urea we are managing. Mm-hmm. That is okay. So, they gave me drug, IV, I realized it. So, to bring down the blood pressure, and the blood pressure was getting controlled. 6 cm, 8 cm, no, but eventually, the, the eclampsia did not surface, the everything went down, and I delivered normally. Put your hands Glory together to for the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. So, that is your Baba. Because of what his son did, what he paid for on the cross, nothing is impossible. Challenges with ill health, ranging from undiagnosable problems. Rush to the hospital, they won't find what is the problem. They will just treat her and she will leave. So, bloody too. I think that one lasted over about two years or three years. Long time. Bloody blood, blood. I say, you say this in this stuff, I say it will stop. She's used flagy, so nothing happened, nothing changed. Then, when she joined us, she came down to Kwara State, is when she now again continued with uh, shedding her intestine in stool. Initially, we didn't know what it was, but the, the stool was always foul many. Me, I know this may, so I know they hear. But our children have very sharp nose. So that incident, there was this incident, we were in the car, and ah, uh-uh, tell me, just said, Kilo will be a bear, Okuoma, Okuoma, Lede. What is smelling like the a, a, the corpse of a pig like this? And it was my sister's too. So she got worried, and that's the story. Worrying didn't solve the problem. She went to the hospital. They couldn't find what it was because of what grace I have enjoyed in the Lord. I don't have so much faith in going to look for trouble. I'm not against medical care. I'm also an health care officer. Two of our children are medical doctors. But by the dealing of God with me, before I will rush to the hospital, I will have done my best clinging to Calvary, and if it fails, woefully and top, there's nothing I could do. But it's not my first resort. So anytime she asks, because I know that you know, once you get there and investigation begins, they may discover what, like she said, killed you before the time. So why don't I cuckoo and go in faith and receive? I've shared my testimony of how I started bleeding. Without anything, I said, I didn't go anywhere. I said, look, Satan, this is the last one. You know, because if I go now, they will be testing this, doing that, you know, Disturb, I will be disturbed. I will disturb my husband, everybody running around and all that. So I have hated all these things. So I was always encouraging her. But when the battle was fierce and she told daddy, said, Daddy, if I can clock 50, I will thank God. He said, You will live more than 50. You, <laughs> daddy said, You will see your children's children. So when she clocked 50, we have even forgotten. She just came and she was rolling on the floor in our sitting room. Okay, I am 50 today. And now she's almost 70, about 70. Somebody thought she will never reach 50. And not by power, nor by mind. Not because of drugs. Drugs failed. Every other thing failed. Ororo failed. Abima. Ororo failed and the water. Omi Adua, Omi Adua too failed. 
you know, but Jesus did not fail. Jesus never fails. And he can never fail. And now she's a grandmother. Hallelujah. The heart issue. She will call me. Mommy. Hey. Hey. You know? My senior sister. She still calls me mommy. Hmm? So. So. My hands. I just wake up with blue. Blue palm. My palm is blue. I am sweating. I say. Mommy. Go sing. Can, can. Auntie. There is no problem. You will not die. Eh? The devil is just. Eh. Uh, hale. Oh, come on. The devil is just It's just a threat Just a threat He can't do you anything And I'm telling you God has been faithful He's very very glorious Asma like she told you Family something we inherited it But I got delivered In 1984 That's about 24 years ago by clinging to the cross, identifying with what Jesus did in my life. It was very bad. Asthma is a terrible thing. But look at so if you have all these things in your family, don't say that is your lot. Through Calvary, we have been set free. Through Calvary, Jesus paid the price. So we are no longer in that lineage. We are asthma is raining. We are arthritis is raining ulcer, high blood pressure, diabetes. If you are born again, you are now in a new family. The family of God. And you have the DNA of God. In Jesus' DNA, there is no sickness. So, that is why he said, the righteous have many afflictions, but the Lord delivered him. The righteous, is not those that are praying and fasting, but those that have been washed by the blood. And they have put on Christ's righteousness. That's what we have seen in the life of our mommy here. And um, look at it. Focusing on Calvary. Focusing on Calvary. And eventually when I started reading the books, she would call me and say, Ah, I didn't know these books are so powerful. In fact, the one I'm reading today, I am claiming it, I'm standing on it, and it is helping me. Honestly, she has passed through a lot. It's only faith that can know that she will live to see today because we are in it with her and she's looking younger, she's growing healthier every day <laughs> hallelujah almost every weekend she comes from Egbe to Ilori on that bad terrible road just to identify with our mother, if she's not healthy is that possible? no I pray for you that the power of the resurrected Christ the spirit that raised Christ from the dead will walk in your own mortal bodies also in Jesus name and that the Lord will help us to learn how to focus on what Jesus has done you know it's not a matter of shouting the name of Jesus 1000 times no it's not a matter of fighting the enemy she don't battle enemies so the enemy is no go eh so she has fought the enemy in their own way but the enemies kept on oppressing her but when she turned to Calvary the Lord saw her through the Lord will see you through in Jesus name put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ <laughs>